What grades did a pirate get in school? High seas. <coughs> hey peeps, Falco here. So much like my Secrets of series exploring small clues left on islands around the world, I have decided to begin a similar series around the lore that is hidden within the different tall tales. Long ago, before we came to the Sea of Thieves, there lived several tribes of people commonly referred to as the Ancients. Very little is known about these people, but remnants of their civilization are left behind, scattered around on various islands. The Ancients were a very simple race of humans but they also possessed great powers. They had in their possession several magical artifacts. One of these artifacts was known as the Pathfinder. The Pathfinder was renamed to the Shroudbreaker because of its magical properties that it holds. The strange winding fog that surrounds the Sea of Thieves cannot touch or destroy anything that is within the presence of the Shroudbreaker. This is how the Ancients were able to survive in these harsh lands. There were several of these artifacts hidden around the world to help fend off this mystical fog. The last time one was used was by Captain Morrow and her crew to venture into what is now referred to as the Devil's Roar. However, during their journey they were caught in a storm and their ship, named the Shroudbreaker, was destroyed, and the artifact with it scattering the pieces of what remained around the seas of the Devil's Roar, revealing it completely for all of us to adventure in. But the Ancients were already present in the Devil's Roar, long before we ventured there, and considering the wall paintings prove that they settled in this area, a Shroudbreaker must have been hidden somewhere in these lands, and maybe taken. When reading through the journal of this tall tale, Ramsey, the pirate lord, talks of being pursued by a ship by the name of the Burning Blade. The Burning Blade was in fact the ship of the almighty skeleton lord himself, Captain Flameheart. It appears as though Captain Flameheart was also after the power of the Shroudbreaker himself, and obviously failed in this venture. His ship remains were found by Wanda the Warsmith, and are present in her laboratory at Wanderer's Refuge. The ship's remains, however, were cursed, and so was Wanda herself. She fell to this curse and became one of Flameheart's lieutenants, which means that Flameheart is still alive out there, somewhere. The Troutbreaker was not without its flaws, however. It would need to be recharged at these ancient shrines in order for it to continue working. But on taking this artifact from its shrine, you are attacked by skeletons, but they're not your average skeletons we see every day in Sea of Thieves. These are the skeletons of pirates that were tainted by a curse. The skeletons we see here look and sound ancient, which makes me believe that these are actually ancient guardians, not cursed sailors. The developers are keen on introducing the Shroudbreaker lore to us, and it is my belief that in future updates we shall see new lands revealed or maybe even adventured in, on places of the map that are already covered by the fog. Or we'll just get a banjo.
That's it for today, folks. Thanks very much for watching. If you liked the video, please go ahead and click that like button. And if you really liked the video, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. And hell, click that bell so you're always informed of CFP's news updates and other general random guff that I might upload. Until next time, everybody, happy sailing. Bye-bye.